You know, a good friend of mine told me a few years ago, he said the money's in the follow-up. And that really ties into communication a lot is that, you know, someone had said that to me 24 years ago in this business, like that would have helped me so much. The money is in the follow-up. You've got to follow up. You got to follow up with everything. I mean, that's if you look back at all the business you didn't get for one reason or another, you know, part part of it could have been follow up. And so I always say that I think that confidence is critical in our business. Like you've got to be confident about who you are, what you do, how you're doing it, how you relay that in your marketing. Confidence and competence, we say in the Institute is, you know, it's important. One of the most important things, right? You can be competent in a lot of things, but if you're just not confident in yourself to be able to, to do the job for your client, you're probably not going to get that business. So, or you're going to fail and they're going to move on. So confidence is important. Uh, the other thing that I would say is um, do what other successful real estate professionals do and it's working for them. And here's one thing that I learned a long time ago is that there's nothing new in this business anymore. We're just all recreating things that have been done and sometimes going back to the simple basics. And so I would tell you that pay attention to who's working in your marketplace and what's working for them and then try and do it better. The one thing I would tell you about social media is that it doesn't mean just put yourself out on social media. It still has to have a a, a really professional, good message. If I see a marketing piece or a social media post that um, where all you can see is a face and a bunch of writing and a, a hundred logos and a little piece of the house, to me, that's not good marketing. Good marketing is about your consistency in your brand in about uh, relaying a, a, an important message, but drawing attention. And if you're not doing any of those things, people are either going to watch your videos for pure entertainment value, which is something that, that I do to a certain agent here in the community because they're, they're funny, but it doesn't make me want to work with that, right? So, um, so I think that that's another thing. You know, your presence on social media and your presence on, on print, it has to be top-notch, uh, stellar, and, uh, and you, just, you have to have accessibility. You got to be available around, whether it's in, in a certain market area or in your office, you, you've, you've got to have all those things, uh, whether you're new or an agent that's been doing this forever. Like it, there's nothing wrong with stake, taking a step back and analyzing your business and your brand to say, what can I add to this that's going to get me to that level that I want to be in?